It's Bruce's Booze Review. Cha cha. I can't begin to tell you how excited I was when I received a bottle of coffee whiskey liqueur in the mail from Wolfhead Distillery. They're a premium craft distillery, actually the first in Essex County since Prohibition, located in Amherstburg, Ontario. That's near the mouth of the Detroit River and close to the Windsor-Detroit border. I have to admit though, you know, I was a little skeptical at first because a lot of coffee liqueurs, the ones I've tried in the past, even though they're usually well balanced enough, tend to be, well, overly sweet and syrupy. Workable enough, but uh, not my cup of java. <laughs> On first impression, the shape of the bottle is simplistically elegant. Almost looks like a bottle right out of the Prohibition era, doesn't it? The label, well, the label is playful too, look at that. We got these uh, wolf scratches going on here and the, and the wolf head uh, logo with the howling wolf. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I wonder why they named their distillery Wolf Head though. Are there a lot of wolves about in the area of Amherstburg? <laughs> Maybe. I'll have to ask the good folks at uh, Wolf Head that and let you know. Anyway, what really counts here is uh, what's inside. <laughs> Let's check it out. I'm smelling coffee all the way. <laughs> Probably haven't even smelled it yet. <laughs> well, you know, it, it pours quite thin, doesn't it? Hmm. And the color isn't as black as some of those other coffee liqueurs. It's more of a, a rich toffee brown, isn't it? Oh yeah. Got some nice legs though. Uh, reasonable legs at 30% alcohol by volume or uh, 60 proof. The smell is, well, Slap me in the face. <laughs> Deep roasted coffee all the way. The coffee aroma is up front with a nice soft balance of, of whiskey. I am detecting some toasted grains though, like rye and barley malt in the whiskey blend. Yeah. The bottle, actually, I need my glasses here. The bottle tells me it's a unique style of double barrel whiskey, meaning that it's been aged in one uh, barrel and then filtered and stored in another more selective mature barrel for much longer to achieve more complexity and mellowness. Made with cold brewed Costa Rican coffee, it's very, it's very silky in the mouth. Not too sweet, I like that. It has a nice bitter sweetness going on from what I would imagine the use of uh, Costa Rican coffee beans. I'm also tasting some honey and milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, yeah, who knew? <laughs> Maybe that's where the creaminess is coming from. All I know is uh, it's a very nice combination. There's even a slight hint of caramel and vanilla. I love the smell, man. The finish is long and soft and definitely coffee. Rich coffee, sweet vanilla and caramel lingering on and fading to a dry coffee bean finish. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Almost dessert-like without the sweetness. Could it be a uh, Maybe a, a spiritual awakening? <laughs> a spiritual awakening? Taste-wise, it makes a very nice Black Russian. Actually, you know, the other night I made one and it turned out more like a blonde Russian. <laughs> it, it doesn't come out too black, uh, but it tasted really, really good. You know, I'm going to experiment a little and in an upcoming video, I'm going to explore the possibilities of this exquisite, delicious coffee whiskey liqueur. Now, I think Tom Manhurst uh, and his partners at Wolfhead Distillery have certainly come up with something special here. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> you gotta try it. Like I said, Wolfhead Distillery is the first premium craft distillery in Essex County. 
And you know, they produce other spirits too. They've got a premium whiskey, which I'm, I'm gonna have to try because, well, <laughs> I like whiskey. <laughs> and I have a very discerning tastes. Maybe if I'm lucky, they'll send me a bottle. They also produce a premium vodka along with a grapefruit vodka and uh, a banana caramel vodka. That sounds interesting. And they've got a few more artisanal blends to offer too. I heard they're about to launch something new called Rivers and Gin. I'll be checking that one out for sure. Oh, uh, one more thing I gotta pull on your code about here is uh, I've got a promo code you can use to get free shipping on all online orders. Unfortunately, uh, due to certain regulations, uh, Wolfhead only ships within Canada. But you can visit Wolfhead's distillery bootlegger shop where you can purchase any of their products live and in person. <laughs> Just remember to wear your mask, <laughs> okay? I'll leave you now with a, a Wolfhead's tagline. <laughs> Stay wild. I'm just gonna try something different here. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like warmed up? Do 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 do